was an it was an amazing night. Uh, like the atmosphere, you know, a, a purpose-built stadium, um, built in the old Titanic slipways. You know, Tigers Bay, where I'm from, off in the distance. Harlem Wolf, the, the cranes and the shipyard in the background as well. It was just, I don't know, it was a, it was a very iconic night. A night again that I'll, I'll never forget. And to bring 16,000 people after, you know, the, the stadium after only having 20 fights, so that was a big deal to me. And I remember it was cold that night as well, which I think helped me a bit. I remember feeling fresh going into the 12th round and probably the sea breeze sitting in between rounds isn't a bad thing. Um, but it was a good performance for me. Although I fought Keiko before and um, stopped him in the European title fight in the ninth round, the fight, the first fight I had with him was more difficult than the second fight. Um, I felt in control from start to finish and, and I won pretty convincingly. I remember standing there, I came out, I was a challenger obviously, so I came out first. Um, I was standing there thinking it's cold, like it's cold. And I looked up, the, the, like the sky was clear and you could, like, you could just see a big full moon. But the noise was amazing. They came out the Florence and Machine song, Walk to the Ring. I remember walking to the ring, and this is this is a strange thing. I think my, my ma, Luke, she gives me a hug going into the ring. I don't ever remember ever hugging my ma, like, ever before. That's just, just something we don't do as a family. We're not big huggers. And I remember seeing her stand there, about to get into the ring, and she had her arms out and went, oh, I'm going to have to hug her here before I <laughs> I gave her a hug, get in the ring, but I was fired up, like I was, I was fired up, I don't think, you know, I don't think Goliath would have beaten me that night, and uh, it was a good fight, tough fight, but it's the second time I fought him, here's where I drop him, I think, no, it's the second, yeah, it is where I drop him, missed him with an uppercut, hit him with a right hand, there, yeah, that was a good shot, he done well to get back up, but I was in control that night, you know what I mean? I um, I felt like I felt like I was in control. It was an easier fight for me, although this one went the distance and I stopped him in the first fight. This one was easier than than the first fight we had. I knew not to go too mad here because he's been dropped because he's a puncher. So I didn't really put the pressure on too much and, and try and go for a kill. I finished strong. Here, I remember thinking, uh, you know, I, I almost stopped him. Um, it was about a minute and a half left in the round. I put a big barrage together and, and almost got rid. But he's a tough wee man. still coming forward. Look at this. But I was in control that night. And as soon as the bell went, I, look, I knew I won. I knew I won. Ah, I was over the moon. That's, that's one of the best nights of my life. And the new IBF Super Bantamweight Champion of the World, Carl the Jackal Frapton! Unreal, absolutely unreal. You forget kind of what it was like looking back there, that's a, that was a big crowd, you know. And uh, I'll never forget that night.